Hello traders and welcome to another video analysis. Today is Thursday, the 4th of February 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar because it looks like we will be kind of a busy today on Thursday. So let's just swipe down. There you go, this is the first day. And uh, as you can see, some data were published during the uh, Tokyo session. The most important was NNZ business uh, confidence data from the New Zealand. As you can see, they were better than expected, 11.8 points, while the previous inning was 9.4. Uh, the business NAP business confidence for the fourth quarter was better than expected as well. Actual reading was 14 points, while the previous reading was minus 8 points. So it looks like during the um, London session, of course, we don't have too many of our important events uh, except the ECB economic bulletin uh, uh, released at uh, uh, 10 o'clock and scheduled for the release at 10.30 construction PMI from, uh, from the UK. As you can see, the forecast is 53 points uh, and the previous reading was 54.6 points. Uh, we'll see what's the actual reading, but any reading above 50 is still an uh, indication of expansion. Uh, in the construction industry, the key um, uh, the key event um, during the London session is the Bank of England interest rate decision. Actually, uh, this this decision is scheduled for the release at one o'clock p.m. As you can see, we have a bunch of data uh, coming together with this uh, with this event. Uh, we got interest rate decision, asset purchase facility, uh, official bank rate votes, uh, asset purchase facility votes, and uh, monetary policy summary, including the Bank of England monetary policy report. So the Bank of England interest rate decision is uh, expected to be um, still um, in line with the previous month of uh, of the level of one, uh, 0 0.1%. So uh, there is no change here and the asset purchase facility should, um, should be on the same level uh, as it was a uh, month ago. So market participants do not expect any changes in a current monetary policy by Bank of England, but it will be very interesting to see uh, what Bank of England has to say in the monetary policy summary and report because there might be some clues regarding the future uh, uh, monetary policy, of course, and maybe they will give some kind of a concerns regarding the current situation uh, over the uh, COVID pandemic, uh, for example, and uh, inflationary pressure and the consumer price index. We will see what what is really concerning. Maybe there isn't anything concerning for the Bank of England. Anyway, it's very uh, um, very good to keep an eye on the on on this event from the Bank of England. Um, during the New York session, there isn't much. There isn't much um, important events to be uh, uh, to be released. Uh, half past two, we got unemployment claims and continuing uh, claims uh, from the U.S. Of course, those are data from the uh, from the labor uh, labor market. And deep in the night, uh, as you can see, we got some uh, some data from um, Australia. We got the AAG performance of service index, and then we got um, uh, quarter to midnight. Uh, sorry, half to midnight. We got uh, Governor Phillips Love speak, um, and then of course one um, uh, half past one uh, in the morning. We got RBA monetary policy statement regarding the recent interest rate decision that was in line with the expectations. So. Some data will be released uh, on Friday, of course. Uh, I think there is yeah, there is nothing interesting on Friday anymore uh, from the um, antipodes uh, part of the world. So, key event of the day, of course, Bank of England interest rate decision. Let's take a look at the cable chart. British pound to American dollar chart looks uh, still still looks bullish, right? The option is being continued. The the trend since the uh, 23rd of the September last year is moving inside of this channel. So that means we are above the uh, long-term trend line as well. We tested it a couple of times and, and the bounce was uh, so much affected that it made uh, a new high. And the recent new high has been made at the level of um, 1.3758. 
So that's the high. As you can see, this is the first attempt and this is the second attempt. It looks like we might have here a double top if the market falls down. So that's the first indication of the double top. The second is that very, very long shadow on this, on this particular candle uh, suggests that there is some kind of a bearish pressure here uh, on, the, on, the, on the British pound. So right now we are heading lower. Let me just expand my channel somewhere around here and this will be, yeah, this is okay. It can be around here, okay. So not much changed here. We are heading towards 1.3486 at least. Uh, so this is the current target for this bearish move. And of course, as you can see, if we break lower, uh, towards 1.3315 we are out of the channel and we are correcting this um, this up move well the question is where we are going to stop with this uh, with this uh, down move here we will see how it will go but uh, in case of any further drop 1.33.13 is the next target 1.20 uh, 1.3226 and 1.3150 uh, 35 is the next eventual technical support for this move down. Momentum is now below the level of uh, 50. It's actually 48 points, and it's point it points to the to the south. Yeah, it's it, it points to the downside. So um, right now we can say okay, we are no longer um, in the positive territory. We are testing and uh, probing the the negative sentiment here. Uh, so if there is, of course, another acceleration to the downside, then the momentum will fail and, of course, the bears will be in, uh, the bears will be in control of this, of this market. And, of course, the chances for a deeper correction are then higher than usual. Okay, so this is the British pound uh, outlook before the Bank of England interest rate decision that might be a trigger for some uh, more volatility and um, more dynamic moves on this market. Let's take a look now at the euro to the British pound because uh, if the British pound is going is going down, it doesn't actually mean the euro to the British uh, to the British pound will be going up. Uh, because, uh, as we know, the cable is connected more to the American dollar than to the euro. But this time, we got another interesting behavior of this of this uh, particular particular um, pair. As you can see, I got my short-term trend line here, around here. Okay, and. Uh, Right now, uh, to be honest, uh, it looks like some sort of wedge is forming, like a falling wedge maybe, because it looks like that for me. So this might be some sort of the wedge um, with the low at the 8,795 pips. And now we are, of course, trying to bounce higher. We are still below this lower uh, wedge uh, line, but if if we break uh, above 8,835, the next target is 8,865, and then maybe uh, the market will be able to get somewhere around this this highs here, somewhere around maybe here 8,919. All right. So please keep an eye on the current situation on the euro to the uh, British pound because this might be uh, the downtrend finishing. Uh, price pattern, the falling wedge, and if there is a breakout higher, especially closing above 8,865, so if this candle or next one close above uh, this level, then we might have some nice, nice, nice momentum coming to markets that, that will be um, basically targeting first the level of 50, which is the neutral level, and then of course the positive levels, because right now, as you can see, we are training uh, inside of the, uh, I, I mean, closer to the to the level of uh, of, uh, of a 30, which is well, way 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 lower than than the neutral level, and in, it indicates that uh, the sentiment is simply negative and weak. Weak negative sentiment dominates the market of the euro to the British pound. So, uh, 
wait for the breakout if there is any because we we can reverse here as well and then usually we we make another lower low but the trigger uh, in form of the bank of england interest rate decision might be interesting for for the uh, uh, for the markets and we might have a, a breakout uh, to the upside so please keep an eye on this on this current uh, developments uh, here let's just uh, take a look at the us dollar index uh, uh, because we are following our our scenario there there you go um we just hit 38 percent 91.30 uh we are above 91.1 so the so the key technical resistance has been violated one two three four green candles with higher closes means that we are trending up there is still some room before the market conditions will be overbought so the next target is 91.72 and 50 percent of the fibonacci retracement at 91.95 and of course this might be the first target for the wave c so if there's any potential um reversal um indication like a price pattern candlestick pattern or something like that of course we can have this free uh, wave up move terminated but i think that we should go a little bit higher at least towards 50 percent of the fibonacci retrenchment so this is the outlook for the us dollar index so far it follows perfectly our scenario we will see what will happen next during the rest of the week thursday and of course friday this is everything for me now Thank you for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.